start with the masa for the empanadas. I brought you in real close so that you can see what I'm doing because I don't have a clear bowl this big. I have some flour, just regular all-purpose flour. We have our salt and I will have the measurements down in the description box. And we're going to just give that a good mix. That was kosher salt. Okay, and here I have some shortening. And I just broke it up into little pieces. We're going to work it in there. Okay, now we are going to incorporate an egg. I lightly beat the egg first and then pour it in there. Mix it all up. Okay, now we're going to start adding our water. You can use warm water or cold water. It does not matter at this point. I just like to make sure all the shortening is incorporated real nice. So I, I take it in my hand and I just kind of crush it like this to make sure everything is coated. Okay, I'm going to start adding the water. As the dough starts coming together, it's still a little sticky there. What I do is I take it out so that I know how much water to add to the rest of the flour and you don't overdo it on the water. And then I'm just going to bring it all out onto the, the board here. Bring it all out. And we're going to knead it. Get all this out of here. And just give it a good knead. The dough is ready. As you can see, it doesn't stick to my hand. Even if I squeeze it hard, it doesn't stick to my hand. That's how we know you have kneaded enough. Okay? You don't want the dough too stiff, too dense, okay? You want a little bit of softness. And if you push on it, you can see how soft this dough is. So we're just gonna let this rest. It's not gonna rise or anything because it has no yeast in it. We're just gonna let it sit so the gluten can relax and then we will roll them out to stuff the empanadas. So we'll be back at that point. Okay, everybody. I have a skillet with a little bit of oil, just like a, a teaspoon and a half of oil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute our vegetables first and then put our meat in. This is already hot. We're going to bring out all the flavor of these vegetables. we got some bell pepper, some celery, some onion. We're going to add a little bit of salt. We're going to season as we go, just a little bit. A little bit of pepper. And we're going to saute these. If there's something in here that you don't like or your family doesn't like, just take it out. You know, substitute it or just leave it out completely. And I did cut these real small. You do want the meat to have a lot of flavor because, I mean, that's what you're going to be eating inside the, the dough, you know. So everything that's in there, you want it to have a lot of flavor. Whatever you stuff them with. Okay, I'm going to add the garlic. And as you can see, everything is cut up real nice and small. You don't want big old chunks of anything in here. If you wanted to substitute the green pepper with red bell pepper, that's fine. Or yellow. You can even add some chile serrano in here, jalapeno, if you want to make them spicy. That's up to you. Okay, now that the vegetables are real nice and translucent, you can smell the aroma of all this combined. We are going to add our beef. I am using ground beef. I am going to add to that ground beef some comino, some pepper some salt and we're going to taste this a little bit later to make sure that it's seasoned the way we like it. We need to season it later. I'm going to take my little uh, smasher here that I love so much and we're going to break this up. Okay, we're going to let this cook and brown for a few minutes and we're going to stir it up in between. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. It's been about 15 minutes. I've been browning the meat. All the liquid evaporated, and that's what we want. So we just want to fry it just a little bit. Fry it up nice and brown before we add our potatoes. Okay, now we are going to add our potatoes. Now the trick to this, when you add the potatoes, they need a little, they need about 12 minutes to cook. 
And because the meat is dry already, you have to incorporate a little bit of broth in there, but just enough to cook the potatoes. So we're just going to add about a quarter cup of broth, turn the heat down, and cover it until the potatoes are soft. Don't drown it in liquid because we do not want the meat wet or soupy when we're stuffing the empanada dough. So just put a little bit at a time and we're going to cook it just until the liquid evaporates and the potatoes are cooked. And at this point you want to taste the meat to see if your seasoning is good. I've already done that and I've adjusted the salt just a little bit. Okay, that's clear. I'm going to cover it and let it cook for about 13 minutes just to cook the potatoes and until the liquid is evaporated. All right guys, the meat is ready, the potatoes are ready. I'm gonna show you here. There's still a little bit of liquid there, okay? Just very little, but we do not want that to mess up our dough. So what I'm gonna do with the meat, now that it's cooked, I'm gonna strain it here with the mesh strainer here, and we are gonna let it cool down. We need it completely room temperature. You can even do this the night before if you like. Okay, we're gonna let this drain real well and let it cool, and we'll be back. Now we are just going to, you have to let these sit for about 10 minutes or so, just so that they can relax. I put a little tiny bit of flour here on the cutting board, because you really don't want that much. And then you just start to roll it like if you're rolling a tortilla. This will not work on a press. You have to roll these by hand. And if it starts to pull back on you like this shrink up, just let it sit for about 5 minutes, the dough and it'll relax and then you, you'll be able to stretch it out. Okay, but just roll it out to about 10, 10 inches in diameter. It seems a little big, but I'm gonna show you why. Okay, see how big that is? I'm gonna get my filling. I'm gonna put it in, and then I'm just gonna flip this over like this Press down with my fingers. I'm going to turn it over so you can see, I hope. All you're going to do is flip it, pinch, flip, pinch, flip, pinch, like that. All the way back. It's kind of hard to show you. And that's it. One little flat, and that's it. There you go. Put it on a sheet over here. Move on to the next one. By this time, the dough has relaxed a little bit. And it makes it easier to roll it out. So I'm going to roll a few of these. Show you again. See, it's starting to shrink up on me, so I may let it relax. And if you want to make these smaller, by all means, make them smaller. Whatever's good for you and your family. Okay, here we go again. So we're going to pull forward all the way to the edge, press down so that they can seal, turn it to the side, go forward, pinch, forward, pinch. And there you go. Alright guys, here I have my Dutch oven with about halfway of oil. Um, I'm going to start frying the empanadas. I'm just going to put one at a time. Make sure that your oil is at 350, not too. Everything on the inside is cooked, so really all you're doing is baking, frying the outside. This is the last one. 
I'm going to let these sit here and cool for just a moment and then we are going to go ahead and taste them. I'll be right back. Okay everybody, we finally come to the time to taste these empanadas. Look at these, they are delicious. They smell awesome. These you can store easily in the refrigerator if you don't, uh, don't eat them right away. You can reheat them in the air fryer if you like for just 10-15 minutes. You can also freeze these and they crisp up real nice in the air fryer. Let's go ahead and give these a try. I'm going to cut one open so that you can see what it looks like. I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. Look at that, all that meat. And you can fill these with whatever you like. You can add cheese. I mean, you can even add hot sauce into some of these if you like. Make them southwest. Add some black beans and corn. That would be delicious. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. The pastry is so nice and flaky. Very nice. It's not heavy, not overly spiced. Uh, the filling is real nice. The potatoes are real creamy. Very good, guys. The, the pastry. I have been fiddling around with this dough for a little while, guys. When I finally got it to where I thought, this is perfect for some empanadas. So I put a lot of effort into this dough, guys. I hope you give it a try so you can check it out how nice and flaky they are. And you can tell just by how they, they blew up when I was frying them. They're so flaky once you take them out of the fryer. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. The recipe and everything will be linked below, guys. If you have any questions, just drop me a comment and I will get back with you or send me a message on any on my social media. Don't forget, share with family and friends, guys. Let's keep this channel growing. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.